Hello and welcome to the special report of the ongoing conflict in Ukraine. Recently, Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov has made statements on a visit to South Africa claiming that Moscow was willing to negotiate with Ukraine in the early months of the war, but the US and other western nation advised Kiev against it. This is a similar claim to those made last year by Russian President Vladimir Putin, who said that Russia was for talks, but Ukraine's western allies prevented that from happening. The US and other western nations have said that Russia is not serious about negotiations to end the war, which is set to mark its 1 year anniversary next month. Mr. Lavrov also said that it's well known and was published openly that our American, British and some European colleagues told Ukraine that it's too early to deal and the arrangements which were almost agreed was never revisited by the Kiev regime. Russia has repeatedly rejected Ukrainian and western demand that it withdraw completely from Ukraine as a condition for any negotiations. On the other hand, US President Joe Biden has indicated he would be willing to talk with Putin if the Russian leader demonstrated that he seriously wanted to end the invasion. Mr. Lavrov is in Pretoria for talks with his South African counterpart. As Russia pushes to strengthen ties with Africa's most developed country and an historical ally amid the ongoing conflict in Ukraine, South Africa was seen as the most significant of several African nations to take a neutral stance on the war and refuse to condemn Russian invasion. The war in Ukraine and its impact on Africa's 1.3 billion people, including rising global oil and food prices, is expected to take center stage during Lavrov's talk with his South African counterpart. South Africa continues to keep strong bonds with Russia following the Soviet Union support for the country's current ruling party the African National Congress when it was a liberation movement fighting to end the apartheid system of repression against South Africa's black majority despite South Africa's express neutrality over Ukraine Mr Lavrov's visit comes days after the South African armed forces announced they would hold joint drills with the Russian and Chinese navy off its eastern coast next month Mr Lavrov's visit to Africa last year was closely followed by US Secretary of State Anthony Blinken's trip to South Africa that was seen as a US bid to counter expanding Russian influence in a strategically important continent This time US Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen visited Senegal and Zambia ahead of an official visit to South Africa starting Wednesday This has been a brief review of the statements made by Russian Foreign Minister Sergey Lavrov and the ongoing conflict in Ukraine Thank you for watching.